now Mitsubishi wire erosion machine. It's an FX20 5 axis wire eroder and basically we use it to cut the carbide rod to length, the length that we need for the next manufacturing process and also often to cut again at the end of the manufacturing process for tools such as reamers where the flute length is long but the overall length is quite short. It's a very highly used machine, it runs every day, all day. This next machine is our Walter Helitronic CNC 5 axis grinding machine. It's doing lots and lots of different types of tools, from step drills to special lem mills to form tools. Uh, the software that you can see is identical to the software offline. So when you look at the screen, what's happening on the screen is what's actually happening inside the machine. Uh, this particular machine is the more powerful of the two and it's fitted with an eco loader. The eco loader can uh, transfer up to 20 different tools um, without operator intervention. This is our Anker RX7, it's a multi-axis CNC grinding machine. It's got a number of sophisticated uh, features that aren't on the other machines that we have. The basic machine is polymer concrete based, so it's much more thermally stable. Uh, in addition to that, we have a chiller system with a larger coolant capacity. And what that means is that the, the machine doesn't move in terms of size. Uh, if you're doing a large batch of tools, which we often do on here, it's important that the first tool is the same size as the last one. In addition, this machine has SPC analysis software, so that the, the machine probes the raw material and probes after grinding. It can then check what the actual damage of the tool is and automatically compensate that damage if it's outside the standard values of the SPC analysis. We have the experience, we have the capability and we have the technology to manufacture many types of cutting tool uh, for all industries and we look forward to inquiries for any kind of tool you need.